stuck into the back area. Here we are in the beautiful uh, Bay of Plenty and we're at Tauranga Special School. Now we've got a great project under the Mighty 10 Helping Hands banner and we're building a sensory walkway. It was an empty space, no value to anybody really, but just a vision for having that area used as an outdoor learning area was just a prime opportunity. Tauranga Special School has uh, 101 special needs students. They age and range from five years through to 21. So we have students that feed in um, from all over the region. So in designing this path, I had to think that everything we use in it, because space was so important and limited, has a purpose. To try and incorporate sound as well as visual, the texture of the ground is, as well. It's just amazing what it's going to look like and what it will mean for the kids at the end of it and our teachers. Whenever there's kids involved, uh, everyone just sort of seems to step it up, giving it 120%. And we've had a lot of stuff donated. Obviously the labour from these guys, it's really humbling, you know. Sheds coming together, a little bit of a kit set thing. The real gem, which I can't wait to see, is one of the things which is going to be a sensory room. And John has been working hard on putting that together. We are putting off a nightlight that is mapped to the um, Milky Way. Oh, how cool! That is awesome. And we've also um, got a few interactive light panels going on, as well as a whole lot of sounds. We need to build a ramp all the way up to the door so the wheelchair can gain access into the room. We've got painting of trellis, we've got painting of trims, we've got some more plants and rocks to go in. It's all those little finishing touches that make the big difference. I feel absolutely off the planet, really, with what has been achieved this week. Sweet! We're done. So all we've got to do now is the big reveal. I can't wait. Stoked. Oh my. The kids are going to be beside themselves. You'll see it inside them. Just seeing my son, he was so excited. To see that joy is all of our joy. Just the colours, the different feels. I think it's going to be amazing, amazing for everyone. Thank you, big thank you. Unbelievable, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. unbelievable. So thank you. You're welcome. And it's really fantastic to see these videos that Joe sent me just a few days ago. This is Luke really enjoying the outdoor space. Here's Israel, who searched for the sign in his classroom for garden, couldn't find it, so he said the word garden, and that was the first word he'd ever spoken at school. Garden. Fantastic. Getting our learners outside is really important, but as well as that, being able to control the environment and help our learners control the environment when there are sensory issues is very important. So however you design your outdoor space, your sensory garden, your movement space, your outdoor classroom, whatever you do outside, make sure that you look at the learners first. Look at what they like, look at what they enjoy access is really important make sure if you need it you have space for wheelchairs make sure there are escape spaces for some of our learners who are autistic or have autism the outdoors is an incredible place for freedom for experience and for learning how will yours look <laughs>